Fatal drug overdoses are on the rise and kill two and a half times more people in the UK per year than road traffic accidents. Mortality Matters is a national conference that examines the issues around the increase in drug-related deaths across the UK. Tim, a former addict, shared his experience of just how bad it was for him. I had a heroin addiction for 28 years. Um, and I, I took drugs every day for 28 years. Um, and it soul destroyed me, it destroyed my entire life. My family relationships, my career. Um, my career started when I was 42. So I will never achieve some of the things perhaps I could have achieved. Um, it destroyed my marriage. It didn't do my physical health a lot of good. It certainly didn't do my mental health any good. And my mental health would be up and down for the rest of my life because of that. Um, addiction is a destructive process, full stop. The event, set up by Adaction, is one of the largest specialist drug, alcohol and mental health treatment charities in the UK. Health and medical professionals met up in Leeds to discuss what can be done to aid the epidemic. We've seen rapid rises in the last three years and we've got the highest level of drug-related death we've ever had in this country. So it's really important that people who are working in this sector get together and work out how we're going to solve this problem. It feels like a really difficult subject to talk about people dying. At the, at the best of times that's a really hard thing to talk about. But talking about people dying when they are long-standing drug users often and have been living very chaotic and difficult lives for many years makes it all the more difficult to talk about. One of the main topics of discussion was if people who are arrested for drug taking, they be given help through medical intervention instead of incarceration or other forms of punishment, with the majority of the speakers agreeing that incarceration is not the way forward. 95% of those in prison for two years or less are there for drug-related offences. 95% of them will be back in prison within two years or less. What are we doing? There will always be drugs in prisons while there are people in prisons who want to use them. The way to deal with that is to provide more effective interventions for those people who have problems with drug use. We would really, really urge the government to look at drug and alcohol use as a health issue first and foremost. Tim also admitted that help was much easier to get back then than it is now. It was better. I was very lucky. I went into treatment in 2004. There was a lot more money in the system. A lot of the services I accessed are no longer available. Open access drop-ins, free counselling, aftercare, occupational therapists, dual diagnosis workers. I had all of those. Um, I mean, I come from West London, which is a wealthy part of the country. I think you'd struggle to get that now. Talking about the problem is only the first step, and everyone is in agreement that more events like this are needed more often, and more can be done to help those suffering with addiction. Sam Brooksbank for Yorkshire Voice.